Today I'm going to show you this, which is probably one of my coolest and easiest things that I made for Instagram. Hey, I'm Jen and honestly guys, this is me like 99% of the time. I'm in a little editing hole and honestly I love it. I'm basically in my pajamas the whole time and I don't have makeup on so I didn't want to lie to you guys and do this tutorial as a fake influencer. I'm just doing it as I am, which is an editor, where I look disgusting. So yes, anyways, today I'm gonna show you how I kind of made my pictures look really cool on Instagram and it didn't even take that much time. So basically it turns out, newsflash, the sky is probably the best green screen that you could probably have ever in your photos. More like blue screen, I guess. But you can just easily take out the screen, I mean the sky, and replace it with anything you like. So that's basically what I'm doing today. I'm going to show you how to blue screen the sky and make it look like a cool kind of well, I kind of made it into like the ocean and it just gave a cool effect on my photos. And since a lot of you guys asked me on Instagram how I made it, I thought I would make a little tutorial for you guys. So yes, I'm gonna go into how to make it. And if you have any other tutorial ideas, let me know in the comments because I'm literally editing 24 seven. So I kind of know my shit. Uh, so yeah, first up you wanna go out and take some photos. I recommend using the sky as a blue screen, but you could totally use any kind of thing that you want to replace um, with this whole method. So I just went outside with a mirror and took photos in it. Um, and then I ended up editing those photos in, uh, what's it called? Visco, Visco, yes. I have a whole video kind of showing how I edit on Visco. So that's a whole different video that you can watch if you wanna know how to do that. But once you have edited those, you can bring it into your software. Now I'm using Premiere for this, but you can basically use anything you want because yeah, it's a very easy technique as long as you can take out the background you can do it on whatever you can do it on final cut you can do it on photoshop you could probably do it on imovie um but yeah we're doing it on premiere so first up you open the project so just open something like this and then you want to drag in the footage down into your little project there so i'm gonna go ahead and grab my photos i took quite a few so you grab the photos there and you also want to grab some footage of what you want to put in the background so i here have got some ocean or pool i'm not sure what it is but um i got it from pexels which has a lot of just royalty free stuff that you can use i'm pretty sure this is royalty free please but um yes you just put something like this in the background now i recommend using something that has a similar color to what you're replacing so the sky in my photos is pretty much the same kind of blue as this and if you're replacing it it'll just like look a lot more natural so yeah I went with this so also try to drag that one into your project now you've got all your stuff there you want to go ahead and pick the photo that you want to use um, I have quite a few photos here not sure which one to start with I think I'll just start with this one and then you want to make a new sequence from clip now it's important you do a new sequence from clip so it's the same size as your picture um, some editing software might not be able to make the same size but it's very handy because then it's not like a video file that has black bars on the side you've just got this one here so I'm gonna go ahead and put this layer on the third layer and then I'm going to drag in my video layer underneath on the first layer You'll see why in a second. But what you want to do is grab this first layer, head to effects, find a key effect, which keying is just taking out a color. So you can either do color key, ultra key, anything you like. I'm going to do ultra key for this one. And you just click and drag it onto your photo. Then in the effects controls, which is up the top here, I'm sorry if yours looks a lot different than mine, but you'll get the idea. But yes, in this effects controls, you can see down here, we got the ultra key and it's got the key color, which has like a little eyedropper tool here. And you can go ahead and select which color you want to replace. If it will let me actually do it, here we go. So I want to re replace this blue color. So I'm going to drop it here. That has already removed all the blue from the background. And as you can see, the video layer is behind it. And honestly, it did a pretty good job. So now what you want to do is get this layer of video and scale it up so it fits in the whole frame. 
like so. I just did that in the effects controls again. And now the video will look like this if it plays. There we go. So that looks pretty cool and trippy, honestly. I really like that effect, but to make it fit a little bit better and look a little bit more natural than just taking out the whole background, I then duplicate this first layer of me and the mirror or whatever. So I will press option and drag that down and that makes a copy of that one. You can also like copy and paste or do whatever you want, but um, that's how I would do it. And then you go over to the ultra key and you delete that. Yes, we have just stepped back to the start of the video. Just kidding. Um, now you want to go to opacity and you want to turn that one down until you like the effect. So if I did that 50%, it just means that like the blue of the sky is 50% and then I am 100% if that makes sense. So I'll turn that off so you can see it. So that is with it off and that is with 50% of the blue showing. And now if I play it, it looks a little bit more natural. You can also play around with the blend modes and see what you like the look of. You can multiply it, you could screen, you could overlay, and it just kind of changes how the whole picture blends with the sky. So I might just change that back to normal and I've actually changed my mind on this, so sorry guys, but I'm gonna move that video layer to the second layer. And then what I'm gonna do is change the opacity on the video layer actually, so it blends with that one. So you can go multiply, you can go screen. I'm gonna go probably multiply and change it to about 40% and just see what that looks like. Hmm, maybe a little bit too dark. Maybe we go screen. So basically you just want to play around a little bit until you find the right blend mode and opacity for your picture because every picture is different. Um, I think I like it like this. I've got it on screen and I've got the opacity at 36% and boom, we have the ocean water stuff in the background of me. Now I like to keep it kind of subtle because I don't want it to look like it's too photoshopped. Um, even though it obviously is, but kind of just looks like a heat wave or something in the background of me. So I'll go ahead and do another one because I think that one's pretty much finished, but I'll grab another picture now, probably this one here, and make a new sequence from clip just like we did before. Um, I will make it on the third layer and the first, no, the third layer and the second layer. And then I will get the video clip, put it underneath, and we will then get the key tool, keying, ultra key, ultra key the top. I would turn off the second layer, go back to the third layer, get the ultra key and uh, if this will work, come on. And take out the sky. So there we got no sky again, blow up the video a bit and then you can go and blend these layers exactly how you like. I will probably just put the opacity down on this one. And then when we play it, it's not playing. Guys, it's not playing because it's taking too much recording this, but let's see if we can try again. So it turns out like that. So that one works better with just turning down the opacity. Really, it just depends on the photo and how you want it to look. But um, yeah, that's basically how I did that one. You can honestly put anything in the background. Like you could add Kevin Parker in the background, just like this, the God, the legend. You could put in any kind of trippy video you have. On your computer, you could put anything. This is one of my Polaroids. Um, obviously it doesn't work so well with the blue. I think definitely go for things that have a blue background because then it'll match a bit better. So yeah, that is basically how I made this effect. If anything, I would just maybe draw out the picture so it's a bit longer, maybe do it for about five to 10 seconds. And then I would do an out point about 10 seconds in and export it. 
Now to export it, I just go file, export, export media, and then you want to match the source so that it's the right size, but I would change this part here, the width and the height, because if it's too big, it won't actually upload properly to Instagram or anything. So I changed this one. I keep it locked so it stays the same like ratio, but if you change the width to 1080, that is the width that works best for me and it always uploads properly for me because I've had trouble with videos that don't upload. But um, that's what I would upload it as for my photos so it's not so big. You can like choose where you're going to output it to and then you press export. So once that's exported, you can go ahead and find that on your computer. I have it here in this export thing. And then the way to get it onto your phone is to just right click it, share it to AirDrop. And I can just AirDrop that straight to my phone. So that was a pretty easy tutorial. I'm sorry if I just kind of sped through that. It's very, very easy. All you have to do is find a way to get rid of the sky or the background or whatever the hell you want to get out of your photo and replace with a video. So yes, that was a pretty easy tutorial for you guys. Nothing too hard. Let me know in the comments if you have tried it. Um, tag me on Instagram if you end up making something like this. Or I guess just tag the hashtag blue screen queen. I don't know. I just made that up on the spot right now. But yeah, let me know your creations. Um, if you want any other tutorials, I will make them for you. Just let me know. Um, sorry this took so long for this one to come out, but I've been super busy and this weekend I am going to the Wit Sundays, so I'm so excited to actually go on holiday. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. My name is Jen and until next time, keep wandering.